Hmm. Such. What I'm seeing is that right now, the reason that you're losing the hope and faith, etc., is because on your mind is that you're losing that determination, that lack of vigor, you know. You're losing that enthusiasm. You probably even have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of ideas is what I'd say, okay. But, but it's like, you're not getting that, <coughs> excuse me, you're not getting that outlet, you know, to, to get that into some positive mode. You probably are just plain bored at work right now. You're wanting something new here, okay? You definitely want to pursue something new. And this is leading to a lot of stress, okay? Right now with the Nine of Swords in reverse here, it's leading a lot of stress, okay? Because you want to release this burden, okay? And that's your biggest challenge out here. You need to let go of something that's overburdening you, something that's overwhelming you. You could even be having too much to do and you're not delegating the tasks, okay? That could be your biggest issues out here. You're not delegating tasks, you're taking everything, you're doing everything on your own. Your boss is probably failing to realize that you're overburdened or you're just overburdened about something and you need to let it go. Either you need to uh, ask other people to help you out with it or you just need to have this balance here. Okay, Something is going absolutely off balance and you need to let it go but you're not which is making your stresses absolutely crazy and your stresses are becoming your reality. In the near future here, you're still going to be stuck in this business or job because you're just in it for the financial stability. You're not having any emotional um, fulfillment in this, but you're here only for your selfish reasons, selfish reasons, which is that only because it's just giving you some kind of stability or, you know, but um, you're exhausted. You're exhausted, tired, wounded, drained out. Um, in your emotions with the sun here, you have a lot of expectations. You're trying to stay positive and there could be some kind of a goal that you're looking at okay but the sun is positivity emotionally you're wanting to be very positive stay very positive but when it comes to people you know when it comes to doing it you're done you know with the nine of wands here you have that little bit of perseverance left but you're almost ready to give up in your environment you could be feeling very stupid okay you could be feeling very stuck uh this is a kind of an institution or a person who forces you you know to follow their rules this is someone who is more like, you know, someone who is a very free thinker, you know, but this is someone who will make you put you in a box. You probably could be having a lot of clashes with this person, you know, constantly because what they ask you to do and what you want to do is completely different. So you're probably uh, needing to go all the time constantly suck up to your boss, okay? Probably, you know, just uh, do whatever your manager says or whatever and you don't really agree with it. There's a lot of um, difference in the belief system or difference in the working um styles okay your style is different and the either the institution that you're working for is very different or you just have someone around you who doesn't really give a fuck or who doesn't really understand the kind of work leadership style that you want all right you probably want to even take a risk you probably want to do something on your own you want to be your own boss but you're feeling very stuck here that's what I'm seeing with the page of pentacles. You want to you want to pursue something new, start a new project, start a new, probably even pursue a new career. Or you want to educate yourself, get into an institution and, you know, like uh, brush on those skills, something like that. But the six of pentacles, what I like is that either there's going to be someone who's going to be there to help you out or you're just going to get an investor if you're looking to start a new project here. I like that. Why the star in reverse? Why the star in reverse? Ace of Cups in reverse, you're bored. You're plain bored. You're not feeling motivated. The colleagues around you, there's a very hostile environment, but you're just bored, okay, at work. And now slowly, slowly, you're losing all that faith and hope that things will work out in this place or in this current business. Uh, what's the Nine of Swords in reverse? What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? Empress, you want growth, expansion, you know. You want to pursue something new. You want to create something new, okay? You want to give birth to a new idea. And that's something that's stressing you out because probably you're so caught up, okay, in a situation. You're overthinking it, all right? And you just want to let go of that stress, anxiety. But with Empress here, you want growth, expansion. You want to expand your business, but you're not being able to because with the blockage here, you have too much on your plate, too much. What's the page of pentacles? 
What's the Eight of Pentacles? Nine of One. See, there you go. You want to pursue something new for sure, new career, new job. And this is something that you're very, very passionate about. Okay. You could have been thinking about this for a very long time. Or, or what I'm getting is that you're very bored at the place that you're at. You're losing the motivation. You don't have that mojo. You don't have that spark to continue pursuing what you have to. You're lacking that vigor because you're bored within the job and you're more like a mover. You know, you like to go places to places. You know, you probably like to, you have that enthusiasm, that passion, that energy. But again, like I said, right, it's not being channeled into a creative outlet out here. And your problem out here is that you either want something new or you probably want a new position or a new role, okay? Something that gives you that uh, that um, that challenge, you know? You want like a new challenge, but something that keeps you moving. But again, in the near future here, you're choosing to stick to something only because it gives you that financial stability. <clears throat> What's the king of cups in reverse? Ten of pentacles. <laughs> because only see, that's what I said. It's giving you big money in the near future. That's the only reason you're staying here selfish reasons otherwise there is no interest that you have out here or at least in the near in, in the role that you're pursuing but you're you're gonna get some good money here i think <clears throat> the money looks good in the near future here it won't be making you happy emotionally but yeah well look money makes everyone happy that's not what i'm saying but money is a source to happiness money is not happiness right you could be in a job, a career that can pay you like a million, right? But does it make you happy? Does it keep you, keep you motivated? You're bored. It doesn't even fulfill you emotionally. <coughs> What's the nine of wands? Why is it brain? What's the nine of wands? Judgment. You are not listening to your higher calling. You need to wake up from your sleep. There is something that's coming towards you again and again and again. Okay, it's like the universe is trying to signal you about something. You probably need to let go of this present career or this present business or job, whatever it is, right? You need to step up and you need to get out because this is probably your calling and probably you're very close to listening to it, right? But you still have that one last shot left is what I feel. You want to give this one last shot <coughs> before you make that final call. Of leaving this place. What's the Harry Fenton reverse? See, you want to release yourself from the situation. This yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a job that you feel very trapped in. You want to let go of this because you're feeling very trapped in this current situation or the job. This job is not only feel making you feeling it's not making you feel stuck, but it's also having a huge um, effect on your mental health. However, with the Six of Pentacles here, you're going to be rewarded for something, okay? That's for sure. See, that's why with the Ten of Pentacles in the near future and the Six of Pentacles. I think there's someone who's coming in to invest. You're getting an investor. You want to, uh, whatever you want to uh, invest in, in the near future. If there's something new, you have an investor or this is someone, <coughs> sorry, or this is a boss or someone very, very generous who's going to offer you a lot of help and support in the form of rewards or in the form of uh, finances or whatever have you. Someone's going to come in and help you out as the outcome here, okay? So if you're looking to pursue something new, you got the help. Your biggest challenge is to release off the burdens, release any responsibilities that are not for you to carry or then, you know, you're overworked and you have too much on your plate and you need to let that go, okay? You need to delegate tasks. Because on your mind is all new, 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 new. You want something new. You want something creative. And that's one of the reasons why you're so demotivated and bored out here. That's what I have for you, Saj. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.